What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part, uh, we did all of the SSN, and guess what? We evolved our Diglett into a Doug Trio, and this is gonna help drastically for the upcoming gem. And we also learned Cut. So, um, unfortunately, in the older games, uh, you have to go to the Start menu and uh, select Cut. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have this the way we cut, and. Uh, I'm gonna show you a trick to get out of the gym easier, but uh, first we're gonna fight the trainers. This is no place for kids, anyway, so uh, yes, this is all electric type gyms. This is the reason I wanted to catch a Diglett, was because I needed something that could take out electric types. Anyway, so we uh, stay outside of Pikachu. It's a level 21 Pikachu, but th this is a Doug trio against a Pikachu, so uh, yeah. Even if Pikachu was using Quick Attack, but um, that only did 7 damage, so yeah. Someone really thinks a Pikachu can beat a Doug Trio. And it's gonna send out another Pikachu, so, uh... I would say, uh, Doug Trio learns the most fantastic because I think it learns Earthquake at a later level, but, uh, it's a while away at least. So we're gonna say we stuck with Dig for a while. But Doug Trio is also fully evolved, so, uh... Basically, uh, yeah, so, uh... I'm a lightweight, but I'm doing electricity. Alright, Rocker wants to buy Rocker sent out Voltorb, yeah. Voltorb is actually one of the fastest the fastest electric type in the whole game, so um we're still faster in it, so uh because Monty Mole is also one of the fastest Pokemon in the game, but uh eventually Doug Trio actually learned Slash, where uh Slash ups critical hit rate, so like uh Say a Doug Trio learn uses Slash will pretty much take a critical hit every single time. Also, unfortunately, Magic Knights were not part Steel type in general, so they're not gonna have the time for weakness to ground. And Monty Mole is level 27. It's gonna have another Voltorb, so uh, yeah, we might even get Monty Mole to level 28. Anyway, so, um, and we defeated Rocker. Right. Anyway, so, um, one last trainer, and, uh... When I was in the army, Lieutenant Sergeant and I strict co. And Gentleman wants to fight, and he's gonna send out a, uh, Pikachu. A level 23 Pikachu, though. I think we can out- a Doug Trio can outspeed it, though, but, um... We unfortunately don't uh, get a level up, but uh, now I'm gonna tell you a trick to uh, get out of this as quickly as possible. See, there's no, there's only trash here. Nope, there's only trash here. When you get the this one, this garbage can right here has a 50/50 shot of being the second one every the second electric every single time. So we have to get two locks, and uh, no, there's only trash here. 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 No, there's only trash here, and. Uh, No, it's only trash here, and, uh, I might have to do some editing, but, um... I think it's this one. Yeah, so that's the first one, but that that also has the... the but, yeah, so if you get it wrong, uh, it, it resets, but, uh... That one right here is a 50-50 chance of being the second one, so just look, look to see if you can find the first one, and then just check the top left one, um... Yeah, so, um, so then, um, alright, so that's, uh, let's try it again. I'm not, luck's not on my side this time. Attempt number seven, can this, uh, seven, can seven times be the charm? There we go, oh my god. I normally do not have it last this long, but, uh, anyway, here's Lieutenant Surge. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I'll tell you, kid, electric like Pokemon save me during the war. They zap my enemies in a paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Anyway, so, this is Lieutenant Surge, and he's gonna have a Voltorb at, uh, level 21, and, uh, if you have a Doug Tree at this point, this fight's a joke, basically. We have, a uh, 4 PP for Dig, but, uh, 
We're even faster than Voltorb, so, uh, yeah, this fight's gonna be a breeze. And he's gonna have a Pikachu. The Pikachu, I think, is much lower in level. Yeah, it's level 18. If you're playing Pokemon Yellow also, he's only gonna have a Raichu and it's level 28 also. So yeah, he's gonna have a Raichu here, but it's gonna be a lower level. It's gonna be level 24. Now he's gonna use Thunderbolt. It doesn't affect us though, but uh, another reason I recommend uh, getting a uh, Doug Trio. We get a critical hit. So uh, yeah, we clean swept this fight. And YML grew to level 28. And we defeated Lieutenant Surge. Whoa. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. But... The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly at any time, kid. You're protected, kid. Take this. And receive TM24, which contains Thunderbolt. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely, uh. We're not actually gonna cut it off of this part just yet. Because, uh, I wanna get something out of, uh,. I want to go grab something out of a Diglett's cave, on the other side of Diglett's cave. However, I don't think I want to go through Diglett's cave in a second. I'm all cut till I'm out of Diglett's cave. Anyway, so out of Diglett's cave, we are now going to use a uh, cut. We're going to use cut to basically uh, get out of uh, get this area where that we couldn't access before. And uh, now that we have 10 Pokemon in our Pokedex, uh, we can go see uh, this guy over here. And we can go see his Pokemon in. Um, Hi, remember me, I'm Professor Oak's aid. If you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. So, Bear, have you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Great, you have caught 11 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. And we received HMO5, which contains, uh, Flash. Now, we're gonna teach this to our Mr. Mime. So, uh, yeah. Marcel learned Flash, but, um, that's the default name of the Mr. Mime, but, um... Now I just wanted to, uh, give it a, I just wanted to get these things here. It's an HP app, which we're gonna definitely give to our Jigglypuff. And, uh, there's a Moonstone, which, uh, I think it's our third out of fourth of the Moonstones in the game. So, uh, yeah, so I think I'll, uh, I, I just want to show one last thing in, a uh, Pewter City. I just want to show one last thing in, a uh, Pewter City. You may be wondering why we're going back to Pewter City. Well, there's one area in Pewter City we can access even without cuts, so, uh, I thought maybe I will show it off. We just have to, uh, we just have to go over here and, uh, use cut. And, uh, basically, we can go up north in, uh, Pewter City, and, uh, remember this from, uh, ten, from, like, eight parts ago, but, uh, yeah, memory, nostalgia does hit, but anyway, so, um, we're gonna go up here where we can cut through a bush. Now that we have cut. And uh, we're gonna go inside this building. Talk to this guy. I think that mixed this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if a Pokemon can be resurrected from it. My colony is just enormous, so I have a favor to ask. Take this Pokemon line and get an examiner. We saved the old amber, which, uh,. We, later in the game, we can get Aerodactyl out of this, which is a really solid flying type, but, um, not really the flying type I'm really planning to use, but, uh, now I will cut until I'm out of, uh, out of, uh, I'm gonna cut until I'm back at, uh, actually, what am I even talking about? I can just dig back to the Pokemon Center, so, uh, yeah, so, we're, so uh, the last thing we're gonna do in this, uh, route, the last thing we're gonna do in, uh, Vermilion City is try to see what we can do going to the right. Anyway, so I cut that Pokemon Center visit out. So, uh, yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to see if we can go to the right to see if we can, like, advance any further. So, uh... Now we are on, review the town map, we're on Route 11, and the new Pokemon you can find here is Browsy, which, um, personally, when it comes to Psychic types, I personally prefer Kadabra and Alakazam, but Browsy's a good Pokemon, I'd say.
and uh, Young Sung Sang out Ekin. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to see if I can get my Jigglypuff up a couple of levels, because, uh, level 34, it will learn, uh, Body Slam. And level 39 will learn Double Edge. So, uh, if we can get Peach those two moves, she'll end up evolving. And we have to get Youngster. Yeah, this is the, I think this is legit the last route we see Youngsters on, so I guess we'll see, kind of see a trade-off. I guess became a trainer, but I think I can win. Well, uh, we have three gym badges, so don't hold your hopes up. And Youngster wants to fight, and Youngster sent out, uh, Sandshrew. This is gonna go with the same type of attack bonus. Oh, Slash. Let's just go with the, uh, same type of attack bonus. Oof. Well, oh, I don't like this at all. Okay, we get a critical hit ourselves, that's fine. And, uh, Zubat. I think this should be enough for a level up. I fought a lot of Diglets as, uh... I don't like that it's fast in me, though, but, uh, let's just pound on this thing. Oh, shit. Okay, so just using Leech Life. It's gonna do, like, two damage. Or four damage, either way. And Peach grew to level 28. All of my Pokemon are level 28, come to think of it, but, um... Oh, so yeah, we are very over level at this point in the game. Now I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a regular potion, and then I'm gonna use one of my super potions. So yeah, we're gonna then uh, try to see if we can. Uh, I think there's a trainer over here. My Pokemon should be ready by now, and um. Anyway, so Youngster wants to fight, and Youngster sent out Nidoran and Mail. This one's get less offensive, so I think one pound kick out. But Jigglypuff is going to be much, much better once she learns water, Body Slam, which she does in a few levels. I think she even learns, like, Rest in a few levels, which also makes it a solid Pokemon. At least in Gen 1. Anyway, oh, Nidorino! Um, we have yet to see a Nidorino in this playthrough, so, uh... Let's use a defense curl. Let's use another one. Let's, uh... Okay, she's just using Lear, so, um... That actually did more damage than I thought I was gonna do. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, count it one more time and take the XP. And we defeated Youngster. How close would uh, Jigglypuff be to doing another level up? I think it's gonna be like halfway through. Oh, that's actually really close, actually. But, um. Let's see if we can get Jigglypuff up to like level 30. Competition, I can't get enough. Anyway, so Gambler wants to fight. There's a new type of trainer. Gambler's gonna Bell Sprout. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, not. Quite, quite a weeping bell yet, but uh, we're gonna see more weeping bells later. But um, oof, I don't think I have any awake names, which is known. So we're gonna have to wait for a bit. Yeah, it's just gonna raise its a uh, special attack, special defense, special attack. Oh yeah, slip, sleep, and wrapped. I want the damn XP, though. Come on, wake up already! Well, it's not using rat. Come on, wake up. Alright, there we go. And one more, uh, pound for the road. There we go. And, uh, Oddish. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, typical grass type we see at this point in the game. Oh, okay, good. I think I have some antidotes anyway, so, uh... And I am going to use another one of my super potions. 
Anyway, so how many Poker Dolls do we have? We have, uh, 24,000 Poker Dollars. That's a lot for this point in the game. Anyway, so, um, I think there's a couple more trainers on this, uh, route. Um, like this guy. Careful, I'm laying down some cables. Anyway, so, Engineer wants to fight, and Engineer sent out Magnemite. It's gonna have a level 21 Magnemite, so, uh, I think this thing, yeah, this thing's definitely fast enough. Sonic Boom is a move that always does 20 damage, so, um, it can be lethal for this part of the game. Maybe not as much for Jigglypuff, but, um, that only did 6 damage, so, uh, but it, they are laying down the Sonic Boom again, so as long as, uh, yeah. I have yet to encounter a Gen 1 mess in this playthrough, but, um, we feed Engineer. I'm gonna try to see if I can get Daily Puff up one more level, but, um... I think this is the last trainer. Um, I cut- there's a couple more on, uh... Engineer wants to fight, and Engineer sent out Magnemite. So yeah, a level 18 Magnemite, which is probably better than a level 21 Magnemite. If that only did 5 damage, so uh... Thankfully Magnemite's still not part Steel type in Gen 1, so in Gen 1 it's a good idea to pound Magnemite. And Peach is level 29. Peach is trying to learn Rest. Yes, I want her to learn this, so um... We're gonna get rid of a water gun now. And learn rest instead. And now let's switch out to uh let's switch out let's switch out to Moni Mole. Like I said, I am very over level for this point in the game, and it's only gonna continue with uh because I'm not going to have, like, a full team of six until much, much later in the game. But, uh, oh, Magneton. A level 18 Magneton, but still a Magneton. Anyway, so, uh, let's see if we can get, uh, Monty Mole up a level. Because I think there's a couple more trainers on this route, but, um... How close are you to a level up? Okay, 1,438 XP, so, um... Now, um, unfortunately, though, once we get out of, uh, here... Actually, there's one more trainer. Whoa, I never lost. Yeah, we'll see about that. Anyway, so Gambler's in a Voltorb. Yeah, let's just, uh... Use a dig, and uh, I don't think it's gonna be enough to get a level up, though. But um, Monty Mole is fully evolved, but only has 62 HP. So uh, yeah, this is clearly a clean, a clean sweeper type of Pokemon, which we are 10 levels ahead of these Pokemon. So and we have to be a gambler. My first loss, anyway. So um. Now, the reason we can't go any further is because, um... The reason we can't go any farther is because a sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. So, um... Yeah, so, um... I think I'm actually gonna cut it off for this part of Pokemon Red. So, uh... Next time on Pokemon Red, we're gonna find a, a, another way to... We're gonna have to try to see if we can find a different way to advance. See you guys then.